Well, hello everybody. I normally do my videos and they come out on a Saturday, but I was so excited I had to do a video quicker and you'll find out why in a moment. So let's start with lots of good news on this one. So first of all, obviously we can see how well the vaccination program is going in the UK. And obviously that's very, very important and the knock on effect that has for us traveling overseas. So, but if we first of all start with cruises, we have now got amazingly on the Miles Morgan Travel website, you will find 114 cruises that are staycation cruises. So they're sailing around the UK, leaving out of Southampton, leaving out of Liverpool. You've got all of the prices on there, all the itineraries, all the ships. So do pop on and have a look. The selection is amazing and they are selling incredibly well. Talking of selling incredibly well, two days ago, we launched a Croatian Explorer cruise down the coast of Croatia, all inclusive for about a thousand pounds from Bristol for next year. My crumbs hit, has sold and sold and sold. So if you're one of the lucky people going on that, well done. If you haven't, have a look pretty quickly because my crumbs, that's selling well. And finally on to holidays, probably the most important thing and the thing on people's minds. So just reminding everybody, 17th of May is the first date for international travel. We are expecting an announcement from Grant Shapps the end of next week, the 6th or 7th of May, and that will tell us what those green destinations will be. So that will be interesting to see. I'll tell you what I think they're going to be in a moment. But one of the things I mentioned on my last video was the horrible cost of PCR testing that is going to be a requirement initially for people traveling. I said at £120, it was ridiculous and had to come down. The fantastic news is, we now at Miles Morgan Travel will be able to help you with all of that process of the PCR testing and at a cost of just £45. So like a third of the price that it was two weeks ago. So that is just wonderful news. And of course, the fact that we can help you with all of that process as well. So all looking good. The final thing on travel is the NHS app. So it's looking like that is what's going to be used, if you like, for your passport to get overseas from a injection and COVID passport perspective. So download that one if you haven't done so, because you will need that for your travel abroad to confirm you've had a vaccination. So everything is finally starting to get a little bit clearer. I think the announcement from Grant Chaps next week will clarify it again. One of the things I think he's going to say that for me is probably one of the most important. When you go on your holiday, you want to relax. And if when you're on your holiday, it changes from a green destination to an amber, that is not a relaxing holiday. That is a stressful holiday. And so I think what's going to be announced next week is Grant Chaps is going to say that nothing will change from green to amber without a 14 day notice period. And that will be amazing. It means everybody can go on holiday safe in the knowledge that they're going to have a relaxing time and get back safe and well without having any any, uh, any trouble with quarantine. So good, good news. But just watch that that's announced the end of next week. So wonderful to pop onto a video with good news, good news and good news. So uh, pop into one of your shops and see the guys. They're all back now working and really, really enjoying seeing you all. So thanks very much. Bye bye.